Hey there, if you're loving the tips so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you never miss out on more cool free tips coming your way. I'd also love to hear from you. Make sure to drop a comment below and let me know what you think um, or what it is you want to see next. And we'll see you on the inside. See you. You know, but I think what I think the secret to all this yep. is without getting even more leads, how do you get more closings? That's it. Hey, you, you, you know what I'm reminded of? There's really two parts of a business, Carl, and you've, you've been a master at this. Number one is sales, driving the traffic. And number two is when the sales come in, I think a big missing component is the conversion. It's like you got all these, like some people say, go get more, go get more. You don't get more or you do both and, but you yeah. got to measure the conversion because sometimes you're getting more only because you're converting so little of what you've already got. Well, let me tell you, let me, let me tell you a problem about getting more. Okay. Talk about it. What, what if getting more, your go, you, you you think your main task is go get more and come to find out you got a hole in your bucket <laughs> and all that effort, all that time, oh, all that yeah. money spent and getting yeah. more referrals, more leads yeah. Yeah. is coming into a bucket that's got no bottom in it. And they're just falling out as quick as you put it in. So then getting more leads doesn't solve the problem. Frankly, it creates a whole nother problem now in finances because it, it, it costs, you know, to, you know, whether it's coffee appointments or, or buying Zillow leads or doing social media work, like whatever that thing is, every lead costs money. Like there's no oh, yeah. free leads. Like, 100%. You know, there's, there's, yeah. there's inexpensive leads like coffee meetings. Yeah. Uh, coffee doesn't cost that much. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's, 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 it's finding out like increasing your conversion rate of the leads that you already have. And that's we need right. to make sure that's on task before we start throwing more, throw, you know, throw more gas on the fire to bring more of that in. If they're not closing, we got the expense and not the results. And that, that's a real problem. It's a, it's a real problem. Hey, and you know, one of the things too, you want to stay massively profitable, do two things, especially for our branch managers. Number one, reduce concessions, keep them under 25 basis points. And number two, figure out a way to convert more of what you've already got. And those two things will drive revenue to your bottom line. So, hey, let's talk about this. So we're talking about conversion at what part of the process? And then let's talk about some strategies to convert more. So we're talking about converting. Well, you know, really, so this could go into how do I convert more referral partners to start referring to me? Yep. And really, it's the same conversation, how to convert more of the leads or the referrals I'm already getting, whether mm. it's referred leads, you know, from my real estate yeah. agents that are closing at 25 percent or yeah. it's social media leads closing at, you know, 0.5 percent. Either way, you know, these 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 things will help increase your conversion rate. My argument would be, you know, that increasing the if I double my conversion rate of my referred leads, I go from 20, 25 percent to 40 45, 50%. That's and a if, big I deal. if I uh, double the conversion of my social media leads, I go from say 0.5% to 1%. It's still a doubling, I, I suppose, but you know, it, it didn't have the same impact. <laughs> it does. Or for me, it doesn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so just yeah. for me, it doesn't. So, so let's talk about the, the first thing. Hey, and that, there's a couple of parts. So this is, this goes back to the framework. So if you've got a framework to convert more, you can put it in any channel you're currently working leads sure. or relationships. So, yeah. and how many steps you said there's like three or four. You're I, I think, about? I think there's, I think there's primarily, there's probably five steps and, okay. a, and a couple sub steps. All right, let's do it. So, I can't uh, wait. so let's list up. This is probably going to be a little series that we'll do. So okay. let's say, let's say there's five there's five primary steps to increasing your conversions. Okay. I, I would say, and this is in no particular order. Actually, there is an order, but I'm going to do it in reverse. Okay. Right. So first of all, you have to know why do you want to convert more? So go back to that darn why. You just can't beat that. And we can talk more about that. But like, like Steve, I'm going to paint a very uncool picture, right? Which is not my style. But like, let's say I hold a gun to your head and I say, brother, you got 10 leads. Yep. Uh, you better pull three loans out of this or I'm going to pull the trigger. And you believe mm. that, right? You yeah. go, yeah. dude, yeah. Carl's going to like, or, or he's got this two, but I, see, I don't even like talking this way, but you get the idea. Like, right. like 
if, if I can create something that your why is off the chart, your conversion rate is going to go up guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Guaranteed. So we can talk about some more cool versions of the why, right. But, but, but you get the idea. Number two, speed the lead. Mm. How fast love, the lead hey, comes in. I love in. that one. Speed to the yeah. lead. We, we talk about that a lot. The wet ice on wet up. Make yep. it easy. Make it easy. Make it easy for people to give you money. So we'll talk about that one. Okay. Number three, uh, cons consistent follow-up. Mm. And, and there's going to be th like three under that. So with consistent follow-up, it's structured time. Okay. It's uh, structured phone calls. Okay. And it's automation. Back to mm -hmm. you, the thing that you come up with. I love this. Mm -hmm. uh, high tech, high touch, low time. Yeah. Right. So yeah. those, yeah. those are under consistent follow-up, which really is just figuring out what are their needs yeah. And the structured phone calls, the structured time, yeah. and the automation all channeled into fulfilling their needs, fulfilling that, uh, creating that relationship, right? So the consistent follow-up increases the relationship. So we have our why, our speed to lead, consistent follow-up, yep. scripting, mm -hmm. knowing what to say, yep, right? And then, uh, and we talk about that. And then what I want to talk about on this episode is which might not be what you would think, but would be energy, mm. my energy. So hey, we saw that this morning on Loan Officer Breakfast Club. Whenever you yeah. were talking to Alexa, like when literally, for those of like we were on Breakfast Club, you asked a question, and the energy of her response and conversation was like attractional. Was oh yeah, man, it's like I, I I'd love to spend time no, with that person. I I I wanted to refund. I, I want to do a, a, a finance my house and I own it free and clear, right? After talk, <laughs> after talking with her, it's like, I, yes, give me that yes. loan. Where, where's, send me the application, right? I mean, it's just her energy was yeah. infectious in a good way, yeah. right? It is. Yeah. And so you find somebody with with like good energy, right? Like, yeah. like, like who's some famous people? Like, dude, you know, one of my favorite people on earth is Oprah, right? Yeah. I love Oprah. I do. I just something yeah. about that lady. I just absolutely, I just adore her and her story. It's a fascinating story. But you look at her and like her energy is a very positive energy. And this is not a woo-woo talk, right? No, right? Nothing against woo-woo, but I'm not, I'm a science guy, right? Yeah. And but her energy is always positive. It's bright. Mm -hmm. Uh and and sometimes she talks about, you know, hey, this is bad and that's bad. But as a general rule, nine, nine times out of ten, she's pretty much of a, a positive side of things. And so right. she's she's energetic. Right. She uh, she when she talks, her face brightens up a little bit. You know, uh, she she's like uh, she's not caffeine, like bouncing off the walls. Right. Right. But she's but a very positive energy. And that and that's where really what we're talking about is like, how do you have this like positive energy? And I don't mean just mean like you only talk about good stuff, but like, I don't know, you look alive. You look like you're yeah. having a good time. You look like you're enjoying yourself. You look like like if I do business with you some of that's going to rub off on me. Mm -hmm. And, and I think on the energy thing, like how do you, so how do you get it? How do you get positive energy even when you don't feel like it? Yeah. So hey, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. So, so Steve, I love what I do, man. Mm -hmm. I, I love working with you. I love being part of the network. Yeah. Um, I love your leadership. I love your yeah. message. Yeah. Um, I love your audience. It's an honor to come on your podcast here today, right? It's an honor. Uh, and, you know, truth be known, not often, but some days I just don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We show up anyway. That's we right. do it anyway. And we do it with energy, right? We And even if we don't feel like the energy, like, that's like um, uh, a couple months back, I saw, um, I, uh, and I'm, everybody knows I'm an old fart, but I went and saw uh, Steely Dan. Right. I love Steely Dan. Right. Just to me, one of the greatest oh, it brings back just, all those memories for you. Oh, just oh, I just oh. yeah, and just the music itself. I just, I just yeah, love Steely. Yeah. Dan. Anyway, so he's singing Rilling in the Years. Mm -hmm. Now, Steely Dan, I don't, that song came out like in 72, like literally yeah. like a yeah. long time ago. Right. 50 years ago or so. He has sung that song like literally. Not just thousands, but probably literally tens of thousands of times, like literally. And yet when he played that on stage here a couple months back, dude, it was like he was saying, 
I just got this really cool new song. I want you guys to hear it. It's like he had never sang it before. Yeah, or not, you know, he had practiced it, but like he yeah. was, he was, it was the first it. time. It was like the first hey, time on stage. Yeah. And, and just the energy and the emotion he had when he sang that song. And as he, and this thought goes across my mind when he's doing it, I said, how in the heck does this guy make me believe that he's enjoying seeing that song because it's a new song he wants me to hear when this is the, literally the 23rd thousand time that he sang that song or yeah. you go you go to broadway mm -hmm. and you watch him do a play and it's fantastic and 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 it's funny at the right places it's 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 uh, emotional in the right places it's happy in the right places i feel they're heartbreaking in the right places and they did that show three hours ago to another audience and they did that show last week to 10 different audiences. And they did that show last year 537 times. Yet, the energy that I feel when they do it is like I'm seeing it for the first time. Mm. And it's because they're professional and you just show up and do the deal. Yeah. And so even on the days I don't feel like it, I have to bring the energy Right. I, I, I can't be tired. I can't be yawning when I'm talking to him. Right. I got to be energetic. Yeah. And so so how do you do that? Yeah. And, and I think like for me, it's a couple things. Number one. You got to get out and circulate your blood in the morning. Like get up. That's, on just, a that's just real practical. Yeah. You got to exercise. You got to do something. You got to wake your body up. And so go for a walk. Mm -hmm. uh, do it. If you're up North and it's winter time, do a treadmill. Uh, Hey, I don't have time to go to the gym. It'd be worth it to go buy one. I'm telling you, this is a good investment. Mm. Right? So uh, uh, get a, get a Peloton bicycle, bicycle or something. So for me, it's not like a, a lifting weights kind of thing. This is like a cardiovascular. Uh, and, and look, if you haven't been doing it, I'm not telling you to go and obviously run everything through your doctor. Right. But I'm not telling you to go run a marathon. I'm just saying, get, like get your just, body moving, get your yeah. body moving, do some stretching. Yeah. Walking yeah. is hard to beat because yeah. walking when I'm walking, uh, I'm either a thinking good thoughts to myself or B maybe I'm listening to a podcast as positive. Maybe your podcast, Steve, frankly, because yeah. your, your podcast is it's upbeat. It's positive. Yeah. You know, we're not talking about, well, look what the feds did again. Those sons of guns. Ah, what are we going to, how are we going to close loans? Now? No, it's like, <laughs> Hey, I got some good news. Yeah. Good. Here's news. how we're crushing it. And you know, you and the network, you guys are crushing it. Right. Yeah, yeah. And here's what we're doing. And so I listen to that and maybe I listen to something spiritual for me. I'm a Joel Osteen guy. Right. So maybe I'm listening to listening to uh, Joel Osteen. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm listening to your brother's book, right? Jim Kyles wrote a great book. Maybe I'm listening to that book because it's a positive nature, but I'm listening. I'm not listening to Fox, CNN, ESPN, that's MSNBC, yeah. Yeah. CBS, the like I'm not, and, yeah, I'm not yeah. listening to any news, like mm -hmm. any news, right? I'm, I, it's just positive things. Now, should I listen to the news? Uh, not in the mornings, <laughs> not in the morning because I'm getting ready. Dude, I'm getting ready to go on stage. I'm going to sing a song. Yeah. And I've sang that song 10,000 times and I got to sound like they're hearing it for the first time, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so number one, you got to get out and, uh, and, and, and get some exercise. Right. And then, and then listen to positive stuff. And to me, that's like, that's where I get my energy, you know, like I'll uh, mm -hmm. like uh, the breakfast club mm -hmm. every morning we get on the air from eight 30 to nine o'clock Eastern time. There's anywhere from, I don't know, a slow day would be 400. A busy day is 800 loan officers, across the nation and they're talking about their wins yes. and then they're talking about challenges but then how do we overcome those challenges not like well we got this challenge well we're all screwed and there's no going. solution like you're just yeah, no, no, no. out to dry it's like yeah. oh, good so, luck so you're sometimes there's there we the, the you, you, it's called creating <clears throat> yeah. the tension and then you break that tension you know you mm -hmm. solve that problem mm -hmm. and uh, uh and and hanging out with positive groups and yeah. so the group that's in there and going boy Look how they screwed this up again. Get out of those groups, right? They're poisonous, right? Because the human mind, we're instinctively drawn to the negative, right? I always think, of, dude, life is like an escalator and we're we're going up the down staircase. That's right. right. You got to keep moving 100%. You, brother, you got to, yeah. if, you, if you're standing still, you're going down. You're going mm. down. And yeah. uh, so so for me, the energy is a really big one. Uh, I'm not real big into the to the pharmaceutical energy. 
right? Yeah. Like, like, like the five hour energy shot or, you know, yeah. drinking 15 cups of coffee. I, I'm not big into those kinds of things, right? I don't think there's anything wrong, you know, with, with drinking coffee or caffeine. I just don't, I don't want to be reliant on external. You know, yeah. 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 Something fake to, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's, that's a whole nother message, but. Uh, hey, and listen, we're also, we're not talking, energy isn't speed. It's not like I'm speeding up and I'm talking, it's how you present yourself. It's how you, who you are. And, and so it's not like it's a stimulant part of, part of what I was thinking about too. You know what, when you asked me, how do I have energy each and every day? And the reality is Carl, some days you're hundred percent right. We don't feel like it, but what we've done is our why is big enough to show up. And you know what I kept thinking about is this. I think the number one driver of energy is our triad of awesomeness. Are you doing what you love? Are you doing what you're the best at? And are you doing what makes you and your family the most money? And, and, and sometimes, you know what I think can be an energy drainer is when somebody is so covered up and all of the other work that they don't love and they're doing like 5% of what they love. And, mm -hmm. and it becomes like this energy drainer. Like, like I heard it like this, some people have energy, they're just depleted and they're depleted by all of these things that are pulling on them. And, and sometimes it's because they don't know how to have the right help. Maybe they don't have help delegate. Those are skills that you can employ to get better at staying in that that sweet spot of when you wake up and you love relationships, you wake up and you love what you're doing and you're really good at it and it's making you a good living, there's an energy that comes to that. And so I think in two camps, if you're saying, I really love what I do, it's probably I'm just not doing enough of it, then that's where we can help you out. You know, that's where, um, you know, even I was even thinking about this, Carl, when we were talking about energy, I just thought. I've got five spots on my calendar this week that literally, uh, man, go to res resultswithsteve.com. And what I could do is we'll just literally walk you through. Maybe there's some things you've got, you know, you've got a good business, a good pipeline. And what's happening is you're so pulled into what doesn't really work for you. Carl, what if we just spent 15 minutes and talk about it? I think I think I could help you with that. So anyway. You know what it is, is it's overcoming those obstacles because, you know, what sometimes what what pulls me back, pulls my energy back is I've got these obstacles in place. That's and it. I'm thinking, man, how do I do it? What do I do? Yeah, like, yeah, how do I how, how do I overcome those obstacles? Because then, like, if I got these obstacles, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. These obstacles are going to hold me back. Mm -hmm. or, or, you, or you know what? You know what? You, you know what I really find like screws people, screws loan officer up a lot is yeah. like. But Steve, you don't understand if I, if I get another lead, if I close them another oh, loan, I'll yeah. have more work to do. Mm. Hey, and, I've been and, there. I've been there more, oh, more time. And dude, I was already out of time. Yeah. It, 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 and in my, you know, in my case, I can't speak of yours, but in my case, the lovely Mrs. White, I was already not spending enough time with her. And, uh, and if I close another loan, I, w we need, want more money. But mm. uh, but not at the expense of, you know, her saying, hey, you're never here. That's and, right. And, and she was right. Right. And yeah. so we have to figure out, like, how do we how do we close more loans yet don't spend more hours in the day in the office? In fact, how do we close more loans and spend and less time in the office? Spend less time in the That's office. That's it. Hey, but and, and when you can do that, guess what happens is your energy, you're, you've got more energy because there's margin. And now you're really able through having great competent sales help and support. You're able to Carl say, man, not only do I have more margin, I got great people doing great things. Hey, and you know what we can do? We'll, I'll do that. Go to resultswithsteve.com, pick a 15 minute slot. And, and you know what, if you want help with that, Carl, that, that would be a good thing because we're talking about the five components of conversion. And I think until you get energy down, to where it's like, I'm showing up the right way to every call, to every conversation, to what I'm doing each and every day. So it makes the other areas less effective if we don't address the energy or you, how we're able to show up every day. You can't work on speed to lead. You can't work on consistent follow-up. You can't work mm. on structured and phone calls yeah. and automation yeah. and scripting until you have the energy. Hey, you know why? Because it goes back to this. And this is something that, that you can't add one more thing on your plate 
until we look at what can come off of your plate right this minute. I mean, you'd be amazed how fast things can come off when you understand, hey, let's get not only the right help, but here's how to effectively delegate. And here's how we ensure we're empowering our people to lift off of us because you know, that's where it goes back to. I never forget. Uh, I'll never forget. And I think it was you challenged me years ago. You said, Hey, what if we doubled that in 90 days? And my first thought was double it. There aren't that many hours in the week. <laughs> yeah. And and you begin to realize there are, we just got to do a little bit different. So I just got to do it in a different way. So cool. What was that website again? Hey, results with Steve.com results with Steve.com. What happens uh, when straight- I go there? Hey, so go, go to straight results. to my calendar. It's a 15 minute results call with me and it'll literally show you the spots I have available this week um, and jump on it. We'll jump on a 15 minute call and let me, uh, l- let's help you get out of the the low energy zone so that we can convert even more. And then Carl, the next step. So we'll start going through the others. Awesome. I love it, man. All right, everybody. Hey, remember this, anything worth doing is worth doing badly. Just get started. See you. <laughs>